Not a kill again, a second injury indeed, and Rask will be able to be picked up potentially here. That's always tricky, that's two times a player's gone down, two lack of confirmations. This time the sledge of Rask is sitting, waiting patiently and hoping to get a pick up, it comes through. And now they are back to, I'm going to say full strength, there's five players, that's all that really counts here though. 30 seconds, the push comes down towards the site, the swing up to AKs gets one, as Shaiko is able to at least find one on the way out the door. The four versus one now, but off a very long outsiders. Their pace was go, and that was all they knew that round on the side of BDS. They forced the bandit off, but the bandit still has the stronghold, and there's only 20 seconds left. So what are you going to do, outsiders? It's going to turn into a little bit more of a pressured push at this point. As I said, sometimes they're a bit slow, and here suddenly they've got to go. The pressure comes up the main stairs. Milan gets dropped, but it's a trade out all over the board on the far side. Two versus four, and now just the last player left. Pasha sprays through, gets one, has a handful of seconds to try and find any more. They put a little bit of pressure down. Dance either side, draw all of his focus to take out a little bit more. The pre-fire there stops him on an approach. BDS, find one back. Now, the big question then is, is there an ADS out there? They don't know that yet, so they need to work together to get rid of Rafal in his current position. And as he stands up, he basically shows himself to the breach, and that's a free kill for outsiders. It's always a tricky one because you know that there's pressure from out there. Smash doubles down, finds a Lems as well. That's the bandit towards the back line of sight there, whether he swung out and wanted to see if he could try and push red and get the player on the breach. Did not work in his favor. Shaiko, though, does. He's able to find his way back into the site and take care of Smash in the meantime. Looking over towards the rafter side, there's the player on the back side of stairs, but look at that timer once again. 20 seconds, FMX with a huge kill, but they're looking through a smoke canister. They've got to try and break through, and Breedae's got another two. Ranchiro underneath puts the gun down at the worst possible time, and now it's down to Breedae. He's crept his way in underneath. He's hoping to see if he can try and get a call in. Changes to a gun at the worst possible time, though, once again. Siege timing hits, and once again, outsiders get around. Rumish with all these openings currently on the site. Not sure if the kitchen hatch has been opened up. That might be the next very target if they still have the opportunity. So yeah, it has been opened up, and this reinforcement will be going out uh, as well. Actually, no. Briday will stop there, and Shiro finds a kill on the hatch as well, so brings it back to a three and four. BDS then again in charge, but still a lot of openings they need to worry about as Rask takes a lot of damage. That's almost the second gift over the top of the hatch there. He bit one, and here's Rafal doing everything, and I said it was the School of Alem's book before where they're biting back into holes, but here, they're actually trying to make some work of it until Pasha and Milan find one apiece, but once again, the timer is low. Here, 14 seconds, they have the ping on where the kit's going down. Shaiko's looking for the angle, but they're playing it quite loose and aggressive, very well wasted. And they just get the kit down. Bride hits the floor as well. The spray through the soft, they can't quite find the angle on anybody. Milan confirms, the kill on the other player, and then one more. Outsiders, three rounds. Haven't had to deal with before the maths of running it. Are they just going to try and throw themselves into the fight? Pasha with the drop is going to try and ease their way around, fires through and gets a lens down cold on the ground, but he's not entirely out. He can give calls and positions and plays popping in. And Ranchiro pops up. There's Pasha over the top and suddenly traded out. Shaiko dropped in the midst of it. A three versus three. Lems was finished and Oh, well, they're still playing close on this angle. They're not entirely sure if the player has gone. Here comes the ex Kairos, you assume. No, they're actually long gone off the board. Shaiko is able to find one more for his trouble. Rafal down the main corridor, five seconds, and simply holding their cards to their chest has given BDS a round. He's not overextending. He's not entirely throwing himself out, and that's the big worry. Smash has to sit here and wait for the swing on this player until he gets a confirmed kill, but as Breedae goes down, it's going to force a movement from the Jaeger. Smash has to be the one to get the catch here, but 20 seconds, the pressure and the onus of time is still on them. Five versus two. Rafal, you're not all that's left. You did get Smash, though. You did get Rask, though. The swing out there on the CC window. Nets two huge kills. One behind him to watch, then one in front of him here. A three versus one. He just needs to find the kit, but he can't. Four to two, but look, two minutes gone. Nate being tossed over, but Pasha, the first one to fall. That is on those red stairs. I was going to say, that is kind of the fortress that they need to get rid of. Now, this Nade will take care of Milan. Goes into the DBNO state. They might not know. A drone will need to come in to confirm that. But with 55 seconds on the clock, there is definitely going to be a good opportunity for BDS here to quickly catapult off these two opening kills. Oh, it was a very aggressive position there. A risk by Smash, and it did not pay off at this point. With no players on site, Rask is a lot of distance to travel. Will he try and do it? There is 30 seconds. It's not entirely over, but as the kit's coming down, they can assume he's off site, so they'll be holding all the routes back around. You can see the players on the door. There's one out on Jacuzzi to the right-hand side of post plant, and the pins come through. 
But in a post plant five versus one, it's not going to be very easy. BDS with a huge bit of pace to bite themselves back one round. Four, two, three. Bit of a round towards that top floor. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that one. It does get spotted off. It's a second entry again. No one there to reply. I said this the last round. Outsiders are not playing this in a trade game. They're not playing this with crossfires. They're just solo all around the map, but they get picked up and punished for it. Well, the pressure's starting to rain in here over the top. Smash and FMX both damaged, and FMX finished off as well here. They're seemingly losing any control of BDS player Shiko. Swings and finds Smash behind the big blue box, and now there is a minute 20 for Milan to try and survive. He's able to take a bite of the first, waits for the grenade to pop, and decides to rotate further up. Suffered a little bit on the spray round. There's a player waiting. Been off a very long refile with the skeleton key brings us back to 44. At this point is the longer that Smash can go undisturbed. And here's, there it is, a pre-fire and a spray round. And well, that's a very dangerous lean into an engagement there. The Echo Drone pulls through and Shaiko finally finds the end of it. Suffered a lot as the dance back and forth, but Smash has that response. They said he was waiting for the movement and the moment and it came through. Breed 8 gets Rask though. The four versus two down towards the site. They're still eyeing up the chance to plant. I assume that stock wall is open and FMX is blinded twice and thrice. The smoke canisters cover the idea and the action that's coming through. Breed has been able to get himself tucked in and ducked behind the table of two versus three. Smash gets one more from the top. Rafal gets smashed though. And one more, that is BDS pulling ahead. Where, of where these ADSs are and sure that these Candelas will start following soon. Now, obviously, the canister pops off. 30 seconds, and they still have a couple more. So here is where the Candelas might start to roll. One down towards the side of dirt. The drop comes through on the backside. The grenade's through, and that off to the third box. The spray over the top. Ranchiro gets a kill there towards the corridor, but the kit's gone cold. And amongst it, covered by the smoke, they're going to try and pick it up. But Milon keeps popping out of dirt and showing what he can do. Smash, he's taken care of. But Shaiko, in the meantime, is able to get a lock in. Three versus one. Smash is still doing bits on the far side. BDS. They overestimated how much control they had. And a single player and dirt cut that kit in half. Looking for the fight here. The drone is coming. Pasha from underneath as well. There's the spray. There's the prey. They're hoping they're only paying attention to one. Pasha. Oh, he doesn't quite win it out. And Rafal finds Rask as well. There's the pressure that came through on the backside. And suddenly, those two players underneath are gone. 20 seconds. And Smash is going to lean into the main stairs. He wants to try and catch them off a bit early. The smoke has to force his movement. And Smash finishes it off with a full stop. But it's a one versus four. Here's all that's left to try and stop this. Takes one, loses the other. BDS, six to five. On to Cash. And were they able to? Uh, back then, yes. Are they able to now? Well, quick. Dispatch there of the evil eye spots the maestro as well, so they know one is behind the bar. Let's see if they can get some utility behind it to get rid of him. Well, here's the Candelas, and here's a much earlier spray. There's an Osso, there's a Bride with a kit, and there's an E1D. Oh no! Everybody's blind, but it doesn't matter if all you got to do is hold F. You can see the Echo Drone stops the plant, though. A huge play and a huge take. Milon finds two round on the backside. Smash gets one as well. It could have been all over, but Milon has other ideas. Alems finds one and amongst it. Pasha bites back, but an Echo Drone and a huge flank is the difference there. A lot of drones on the side currently. Opening is starting to occur as well. He needs to be quick. And as Ranchiro gets the very first kill, Rafal now realizes that there is some save ground to be made here in a 3v5. He can end this now. He can put them onto match point again. Well, here it is, a rotation round on the other side. He's still gone unchecked. He's just walked past one man. No, he hasn't. Turns back round, gets dropped. Four versus two, but still was able to make things work. A three versus two, 40 seconds. Rask was able to find one of his own. The drop down and a take onto a blinded Kaid. I'm assuming he was hit by a flash just before on the corner and stuck out on the jukebox. But 30 seconds and there's a back line and there's no longer a Rask. Another flash over the top. The whirring and the burring. Is it something only on our side, I hope, as Milan's trying to find the last two players with the cold kit? Well, he was trying to bait a bit of movement there. Picks it back up and... Is he eyeing up what route, what angle? The drone gets thrown out. It's just going to see if he can try and waste a little bit more time. But BDS, they're playing this perfectly. They know they don't have to overextend. Milon, he's going to stick it. He has no real other option. You can see BDS is both trying to co close down. It's a pre-fire. It's a shotgun shell right into his core. And it's BDS getting a defense and once again putting themselves one round away from a win. See the kit changes hands. Alems is getting it ready. Rask is that only line here. They've tried to go quick and as more pressure comes through, Rask is just going to pull away because he knows that is the first 
Herald of the grenades that come through. Shaiko gets that opener, pulls away into the smoke, looks for a second and finds it. Alems and Ranchiro putting pressure onto the back of the boxes. Suddenly things are slipping away and suddenly they slip a little bit further with it locked down. A BDS flawless to end a fight back. It went almost all the way, but that was a lot further than I think a lot of people expected here on club. Outsiders, unfortunately, just one point. BDS, two.